Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for Sunday, June 10th. This is for all signs. Daily energy. What do we need to hear for today? Keep in mind that the, the timing is fluid for these daily readings, whenever it resonates, okay? <sighs> June 10th. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am going to go live tonight, so you might, if you're not subscribed, you'll want to subscribe and hit that bell to get the notification. If the bell isn't hit, you won't get the notification. I can't say what time I'm going to go live because I never know, but I am going to go live. One thing we're going to talk about is integrity. I don't know. We're going to talk about a few things. This is for June 10th. I decided to do it the regular way this time for who knows what reason. Someone is feeling like, well, they've taken the time. I got to turn that phone down. They've, they've taken the time to uh, reflect, become aware of what they really want, what they do want and what they don't want. So it appears that... Um, someone is is trying to be practical here you know trying to figure out what is the best route to take there has been um, a lack of communication in one arena and you could be dealing with somebody who doesn't want you to know the truth of a situation I'm not sure what this is but somebody doesn't want you to know the truth but you do know the truth you know what I mean um, there's a feeling of um, pride getting in the way, pride getting in the way of perhaps a reconciliation. I don't know what this is, but it feels like somebody has, uh, there's some ties that have been severed. Okay, there's some ties that have been severed and a commitment has, has fallen apart. And it appears that someone has taken the time to reflect on what has happened and now they are unable to find happiness elsewhere. <laughs> interesting, interesting. So it appears like the truth is here. The truth is being revealed in some situation, okay? The truth is absolutely being revealed. But someone doesn't want, someone doesn't want, um, want to hear it okay they don't want to hear it or they don't want to give it they don't want to they don't want to either either they don't want to hear the truth or they don't want the other person to know the truth okay um but one of the people in this dynamic is like i just want to be happy i just want to be happy okay and there's been a lack of um wish fulfillment in any other instance or partnership because someone has been unable to let go because the strength card is about letting go, okay? So somebody, and it's reversed. They've been unable to let go, okay? So I'm going to tell you who we got here. We have Virgo. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Pisces. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we have Leo right here. 
Okay, so it could be you could be dealing with any sign. I just wanted to name them out because some of you want to hear that. Somebody has been dishonest about how they really feel. They really have. And they've been holding back communication. But they've taken the time to reflect and become aware of what they really want. But they still aren't communicating. So that's pretty interesting. So um, pride is in the way. Pride is absolutely in the way of some sort of, of contentment. It's in the way of happiness. Pride is in the way of happiness here. And I'm not sure who this is for, but, you know, in the middle of this reading, we have this earth sign. Okay, so I'm not sure if it's for earth signs. It could be for anybody. You know, we all have an element of earth in our chart anyway, somewhere. So this reading is really for anybody. But there, there has been a lack of communication and there's also been a lack of the ability to actually uh, really let go. Somebody has been really um, unable to find somebody that is better suited. Okay, there's, 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 it's like there's no better suitor. There's no better suitor for me here. So, um, I think that somebody has been feeling down in the dumps in regards to some sort of truth that they don't want to accept, which is interesting, huh? I think there's been a break in a commitment which has forced someone to really take a look at themselves, take a look at their ego, take a look at um, why this happened, you know. Somebody has really had to take a step back and, and become aware of why these this happiness didn't work out okay and and it's made them feel quite um, maybe even ill you know it's, it's it's you know unable to move on that's what it looks like to me. But it also looks like to me that somebody is deciding to be practical. and um, Or maybe that's why they left. Because they had, they had to take the practical approach. You know? Um, and you could have been dealing with somebody who had nothing good to say about you anyway. So that's why you had to take this time out. Because if somebody doesn't have anything good to say, then you, know, they, you can't let them bring you down forever. So it feels as though... You know, there's been some sort of truth that has been revealed about another person who really didn't have anything good to say, but that wasn't their true feelings, okay? It was like a, um, what's the word for it? Their self-esteem and their self-worth was lacking, so they wanted to bring you down with them. Okay, that's what this card is, pretty much, you know? So, therefore, they, they couldn't communicate truthfully. They, they, they couldn't because they were weak. So I feel like the, you were dealing with a weak person who kind of wanted to bring you down with them. They were, that wasn't their intention, but that's what they were doing. So you had to be practical here and take a time out. And anyway, somebody has taken a time out, but now the truth is somebody else, somebody wants another chance. Okay? The, the judgment card is somebody wants another chance. So... Mm -hmm. Somebody has been dishonest about their true feelings. Whew. They're, uh, yeah, somebody's hanging on to their ex. They're hanging on to their ex. And they're feeling bitter and resentful and cold and detached because this hasn't... They haven't been able to break free. They haven't been able to break free of these chains that bind the two together. Okay, they haven't. You know, all they want is to be happy again. They want this reconciliation. Somebody wants a reconciliation with another person because they are deeply 
tied to them, okay? And the chains have not been broken. So it feels like this has to do with an ex for some of you. Somebody, some of you, you know, if you want to free yourself, you absolutely have to cut the chains. But for many of you, the chains have not absolutely been cut yet. Somebody is unable to let go of this karmic connection. There's a, there's a, a karmic connection between you and another person it, that made you very happy at one time. It made you feel like you were, uh, you know, gave you something to, it brought a lot of joy to your life, put it that way. And now, you know, somebody wants a reconciliation because the, the ties that bind have not been severed. Okay, and now happiness is all I want. You know, I just want to be happy. Um, and it feels as though there's been a lack of wish fulfillment for both parties because now we have two. Okay, we, there's both parties involved have been unable to find wish fulfillment with another suitor. They haven't. Therefore, you know, I think that both of you are thinking about giving another chance or wanting another chance, but pride is in the way. Pride is in the way. It is. Okay? Pride is... At, somebody is too proud to communicate. So it feels as though somebody um, needs to suck it up. <laughs> Sorry, but somebody needs to suck it up and make the move. Um, the moon card reversed is about accepting the reality of your truth the truth coming out okay there there's some sort of communication that is needed in regards to your true feelings okay there's a connection here that is undeniable it's undeniable okay and it makes you feel weak without this person. You feel like you can't be successful without this person. I think it's an X because the Queen of Swords reversed typically represents an X. And that is an X of any sign. Okay? It's not just an air sign. You know, I feel as though um, there's a deep connection between two people that, you know, it's not about proving yourself at this time. It's about being happy. It's about being stable. It's about being secure. It's about um, being happy. That's what it's about. It's about if you want to be happy, you're going to have to communicate. There's a deep, deep, deep connection between you and another person that you know the karmic cycle hasn't been completed. It hasn't. So in order for the cycle to complete, there needs to either be closure or a reconciliation. And there, there's not closure. There's no contentment. Somebody is not content without their ex. I don't know who this is for. They're not content without their ex. They're feeling bitter. They're feeling angry, upset, resentful. unable to move on with another person. And I know I'm repeating myself, but communication is needed here. It's like the truth needs to be revealed and it's going to be revealed. The truth is going to come out because there is a connection that is absolutely undeniable between two people. And it's no longer about wanting to prove yourself that you were right, the five of swords reversed, okay? This is this card is about do you want to prove yourself or do you want to be happy? That's the meaning of the card in reverse. One of the meanings. It's time to be happy. It's time to be practical. The queen of, the queen of pentacles is practical. She's responsible. She's stable and secure. Loyal. But somebody has withheld communication and it is impacting their happiness. So I feel like today is a day of really stepping back with, the, with this hermit card to become aware of what is going to make you happy. What's going what's to make you happy? 
There's also a lot of temptation here, okay? A lot of sexual temptation. You know, there could be a lot of fun. There could be a lot of dating going on to get over this ex. Somebody may be, you know, extending themselves in ways they shouldn't be. So to get over this ex, you know, to, to mask the hurt, okay? So I think that could absolutely be the case. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Here we have the dating. Here's we have the sex. So just saying, you know, there could be somebody that is 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 doing things they shouldn't be doing just to, you know, get over it. Um, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. They are cautioning you. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. You know who I'm talking about. Every single one of you that is watching this thought of a person. The red flags are within you. That thought of that person was a red flag. Follow your heart. Follow your feelings. Reveal the truth. Let go of the confusion and communicate. Anyway, this is the reading for, for June 10th, Sunday, June 10th. Somebody has romantic feelings for another person in which they are not communicating effectively and the other person or both of you are trying to mask the truth you're trying to mask your feelings by with sex something like that or addictions lust addictions obsessions you're trying to mask your true feelings with addictions Lies. The devil brings in lies. Lying to yourself. Very interesting. Anyway, there is a, a lot of uh, desire to reconcile, but inability to take action. Talk to you later.